My name is Elena Volkova and I'm a photographer. Anacostia is a historically Native American and African American area in Washington DC. The project aims to document people of Anacostia in wet plate collodion portraits, a historic photographic process, and represent people in this day and time. Back in 19th century when this process was practiced, people used to sit sometimes between 2 and 15, 30 seconds for a portrait. That's why nobody smiled in pictures, because you just had to, you know, you couldn't hold a smile without it turning into a grin, right, for 30 seconds. So, as we take this portrait of Baba, you can just notice how bright the flashes are. It's something that we compensate for seconds of sitting under bright sun without blinking. I get so high, I get so low. People love to be represented in portraits and sitting for a portrait done using a historic process really creates that bridge between past and present. And we hear people say things like, oh my God, I look like my grandfather. And in Anacostia, people are connected to their past. It allows people to learn history and to see themselves represented in historic photographs. When daguerreotypes were invented in 1830s, only the wealthy people could afford sitting for a portrait. And the representation that exists of people in daguerreotypes focuses on people with means. When collodion was uh, invented in 1850s, we have much wider representation of people of all sorts of walks of life. And it was a much more democratized process. The process starts with a tin plate that's coated in black paint, and we pour collodion. Collodion was originally invented for medical purposes during the Civil War, it was used to bind um, bandages, and simultaneously was created as a, as a photographic process as well. Collodion is, a, is like a liquid band-aid. It allows silver stick to the surface. So after we pour collodion, we put the plate into a silver nitride bath and silver particles get stuck to the surface of the plate. This is called sensitizing. And after that, the plate needs to be exposed to light instantly while the plate is still wet. So we put it in the camera and we expose it to large amounts of light. So I have three very powerful lights that create light instantaneously and expose the plate to light. And where the plate is exposed to light, it, the silver hardens. So that's how we get highlights. And shadow areas, that's where the silver didn't get hardened, so it washes off in the development process. And that's how we have highlights and shadows. Now we are ready to put the plate into fixer and in Fixer, it transforms from a negative image to a positive image. An Acostia Portraits project allows me to practice my craft. So for me, it's a really great joy to go in, create a portrait session and challenge myself with photographing people. I am interested in historic processes 
because it allows me to practice my craft hands-on. I enjoy the unpredictability of the end results when it's good. Sometimes I have to start over and repeat the process again and again. But in the end, I love wet plate because of those surprises. Wet collodion excites me as a photographer because it renders the light and color unlike any other photographic process. And I love surprises and I love not having 100% control over the process. One of the most exciting things for me as a photographer is that relationship between me and the sitter and then the viewer bringing their own meaning into reading the images. I like creating portraits because understanding individuality, humanity and beauty of others helps us understand ourselves. This experience is like is, 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 is extremely rewarding. It's all very uh, very nice and exciting. It's a rewarding process and teaches you a lot. Definitely like a one in a lifetime experience for me. Um, I love I have a great appreciation for photography and especially like older forms of photography and so just to be a part of such a, a vintage process in this time is really, um, is really amazing to experience. You know, it's, it's, it has more components to it, like uh, you can't see everything that's going on behind you here but it's, it's so intricate and it's so like, you know, everything has to be timed right with the plates, has to be heated, this is so amazing. As opposed to digital, you know, it's like a new age technology, you don't really get to see the intricacies because everything is being done inside the, the digital process. I feel like I'm like traveling through space and time with the whole process. And it, I think that's the like, most exciting part about it, like to uh, actually feel like a piece of history or like the way they did things historically. It's just amazing. <laughs>